Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy, and right now you're behind the scenes, behind our reptile wall here at the zoo, and want to introduce you to this beauty. Look at this thing. This is Judd, the Western Milk Snake, and oh, they are one of the most beautiful snakes. Now, my favorite thing about milk snakes is they practice a really cool form of self-defense called mimicry. It's one of the neatest ones, I think, that nature has, and mimicry is obviously when an animal tries to look like another animal in hopes that it scares you away. So this particular snake, the milk snake, they're trying to look like a coral snake. Coral snakes are found in the south and they are venomous, meaning they could do some damage to you if they bit you. Now the milk snake, if this little guy bit you, it's just going to hurt a little bit and that's about it, but there's no venom. They are a non-venomous constrictor. Now the way you can tell the difference between the two, you've probably heard it before, there's that old poem, red on black, friend of Jack, red on yellow, kill a fellow. What that means is there's stripes here. So you see the yellow marks there and the black mark. If that yellow was touching that red, you're going to be in trouble. You're not going to want to go near this snake. And that's how you can tell the two apart. But like any constrictor, we've talked about it before, these guys squeeze their food. Now this guy here, he's full grown, pretty small snake, so he's going to eat things like small rodents, maybe some bugs every now and then, and if he's lucky, maybe something like a baby bird. But they are relatively small and they do not get any bigger. Now get this, in the wild, these guys only live about three to four years, but here at the zoo, he could go over 20 years. So quite a significant increase in his lifespan being here at the zoo. Of course, he doesn't have to worry about predators, such a small snake in the wild does, but here at the zoo, that's not a worry. Now, the other cool thing is that these guys lay eggs and they can have anywhere from two to 17 eggs at one time. That's a pretty neat thing. And last but not least, why are they called milk snake? This makes me laugh every time I talk about it. You know, the reason is, many, many years ago, farmers went out to their barn, and for some reason, they thought they saw milk snakes drinking out of a goat's udder. And so they called them milk snakes because they believed these guys would actually drink the milk out of those animals. Weird. But who knows? Maybe one day a snake was latched on, biting that goat. The farmer saw it and, hey, called it milk snake. Pretty bizarre, but who knows, could be the reason why. But nonetheless, what a beautiful snake. If you're lucky enough here in Montana or really throughout the United States to see one of these guys, you're pretty lucky. Just make sure you recite that poem and make sure it's not something you want to walk away from because of the venomous nature. So guys, until next time, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana.